Hello once again, my fellow Star Trek fans. I welcome you to another hobby video involving the subject Star Trek. I recently showed you guys, let me show you, the Klingon Katinga. I showed you the 1350 scale model kit. Be beautiful box. Yeah, and I showed you the lighting kit. But what I completely forgot to show you guys was a little extra. I got the power, the um, paragraphics. And this is the addition supplemental pack for the uh, Klingon Katinga. So what you're going to do is when you get it in the mail, it's going to be in an envelope, the bubble wrap envelope, and it's going to be stable to cardboard. Over there it stays straight and nothing happens to it. What I do is I took the uh, staples off, so let's show you guys. You can see the front, the Klingon photo etch set, the Katinga, paragraphics. Add exciting details and light blocking to the 1350 scale Klingon to, to Katinga battle cruiser from Polar Lights. And you can see paragraphics.biz, and this is PN PGX218. You can see the bridge area. So, let me go ahead. I'm going to put the camera on a tripod. It'll be easier to show you everything. All right, that's going to be a little bit easier to show you guys. And you can kind of see it in the, bla in the bag. The back has the directions. So, let's go ahead and we'll open up the bag. And let's see. We'll take out the cardboard insert, and that's going to keep the uh, photo etch sheet safe. So let's put that aside and let's show you guys what it looks like. That's really cool. Look at the Klingon writing. The Katinga Photo Etch Photo Etch Set, made in USA. And this came out in 2018, just like the model kit, as well as the lighting kit. You can see that awesome Klingon symbol. And I believe this is for the, um, the Torpedo Tube Launcher in the front. Right there. I think. I mean, we'll find out in the directions. And on the back, and I don't have a picture of the back right now. These are for the back. And you can see the engine grills. And you can see the, the wrap for the, just below the bridge area. That'll define all the windows. And this one feels nice and thick. This one feels actually thicker than the uh, than the one that comes with the lighting kit. At least what I've discovered so far with the Enterprise. All right, let's take a look at the instructions. And I'll put the pictures up so you can pause and watch. You can see Katinga Photo Edge set. Thank you for purchasing Paragraphics Photo Etch Set for Polar Light's Katinga Class Battle Cruiser. We have made every effort to ensure that these parts can be used successfully by a modeler of modest experience. But there may be items that require additional modeling techniques. For a basic primer on the use of Photo Etch, please visit. And it shows the link www.paragraphics.biz backslash instructions dot ASP for printed instructions and you can see um, www.paragraphics.biz backslash video dash instructions dash one ASP for the videos. In, in addition to the photo etch you will also need scissors or a knife to remove individual pieces from the main fret file to remove material left from cutting and super glue 
we prefer the number 17 chisel blade. You can see the key part, photo etch part. And we got the torpedo tubes. That, that's pretty cool. That's going to be a really nice uh, effect. Torpedo tubes. You have a couple of options when installing the torpedo tubes. You can use the clear kit parts or not, as desired. If using the clear kit parts, etch part 2A should be used for the rear torpedo tube, since there is no inner, to inner lip to hold part 2A. Etch part 6 can be used either with or without the clear part for the forward tube. You can see the impulse engines. Option 1, flush grills. Mount the desired pair of engine grills 3A or 3B to the back side of the clear kit parts 107 and 108. And then install them, uh, install the main parts normally. The option 2, Recessed grills. Mount the desired pair of engine grills 7A or 7B at the opening of the impulse engine lighting holes on kit part 22 and install the engine parts normally. So this is really make a nice effect, especially with the red glowing um, impulse engines. Or I don't know if they're going to be red in the lighting kit yet. <clears throat> Looking at the back. We got the bridge windows. File off the raised bridge windows from kit part 117 and then wrap the etch part 1 around the clear window piece with the easy bend ridge facing inward. You can see how they want you to bend it in the piece. Align the first end of the etch piece with one of the raised locator pins on the bottom of the kit part. Then we have the officer's lounge. Nice, you learn something new every day. So that's the officer's lounge, okay. Lighting option. Cut out the window area between the window frames before filling off, uh, filing off the frames themselves. After the etch part is in place, you can create the window glass using micro crystal clear or testers clear parts adhesive and window maker. File off the kit window frames from part 46 and then attach etch part 5 in place of them. You may find it easier to shape part 5 if you anneal it first. You can learn about annealing by watching and working with photo etch part 4 annealing. Located here and it shows you the link. Secondary hull windows. These parts help block light to give the window sharp edges. Simply glue the photo etch parts between the hull, 46, and the clear parts, 101 and 102. So it's a nice little extra. And finally, we have the shuttle control room windows. Fill the window frames with kit part 10 and replace the etch part 4. If lighting, you can cut away the plastic behind the windows, then replicate the glass with micro crystal clear or testers clear parts adhesive and window maker. So that's a nice little effect. And those are the instructions. It's the complete instruction sheet. And that's just about everything that comes in the photo etch set. Um, let me show you the photo etch again, but with the cardboard backing, you'll be able to see it a little bit better, maybe. You can see the windows. Let's get the camera to focus on that for you. I love that lettering. Didn't say anything about the lettering in the instructions, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and I'm going to download the digital instructions and I'm going to see if there's any differences in those. You can see the windows. And that Klingon symbol is just so cool. 
and the office's lounge windows. And you can see the torpedo tube and the uh, rear torpedo tubes. You can see the impulse engines. Again, with those in, it's going to make a nice contrast. It's going to make a really nice effect. So there's not a ton of photo etch, but there's enough where it might make a difference because especially um, in the torpedo launcher, that's going to look really cool. Looking at the box, you can't really tell. Let's see if there's a picture on the back. Um, there's no head-on pictures of the torpedo in the front, torpedo launcher. You can see in the back, it's going to be kind of a, a red. So that's going to be um, really fun. You can see where the windows are going to go. And the ones that come with the, uh, the lighting kit are nice as well. You can see it look pretty good. And even if you wanted to build a kit without the uh, lighting kit, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, you can make your own lighting kit. really wouldn't be that hard for this. Um, but we're going to do it with the lighting kit. You can see the photo etch set that comes with the lighting kit. So it's nice that Paragraphics saw that the lighting kit that came with the, the photo etch set that comes in a lighting kit and they kind of built off that and they put on little additions instead of just doing the same thing. It's nice to have the Klingon symbol raised, that'd be really cool, and the wording. And that, my friends, is the photo wet set from Paragraphics. I've used Paragraphics before. Um, we've done the photo wet set for the 1350 Enterprise. And actually, both of them. We're working on a refit right now, and I'm using the Paragraphics extra set for that as well. So, my friends... Like I said, I should have shown you this yesterday, but I forgot about it. <laughs> so I just wanted to make a quick little video showing you the goodies that can go with this wonderful kit. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.